Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today. Uh, I'm going to talk about creating bar charts, animated bar charts using CSS3. I'm going to talk about the animation property. I'm going to speak about linear gradients. Now the, the bar charts that you see out here, five of them, actually uh, all the colors, the green, the orange, the red, and even this white um, vertical line has been created only through linear it's one single linear gradient from the left to the right okay and depending on the width of the bar chart the colors show up as green orange red so as the width of the bar charts increase these are all animated bar charts uh, the colors actually change the more you are towards the red the more you are towards the danger okay not only the animated in fact let me start off with the browser preview and then we'll uh, further discuss it they're all animated as you can see out here there you go okay right uh, let me adjust my microphone sorry for the interruption okay now not only uh, I'm gonna talk about the animations in CSS3 using a very impressive library called animate.css this is the URL where you can fetch it uh, I downloaded the animate.css library and I attached it to my HTML document via link tag rel attribute equaling style sheet href attribute equaling animate.css this is the library that I actually downloaded uh, it is a bunch of uh, pre-written preset classes that can be used in your HTML projects it's a huge huge library guys a huge huge library okay see uh, more than 3000 lines of pre-written preset classes okay this is the HTML document around 50 lines not too big actually right uh, I've used the classes available to me through animate.css in my HTML projects like zoom in roll in bounce in fade and write zoom in up etc for the five different divisions which act like five different animated bars so these are the effects that have been imparted zoom in roll in bounce in fade in you, you can notice on the first division I've actually uh, attached three different classes bar one animated and zoom in animated is a mandatory class that you need to attach to see your stuff getting animated and then you can go with any other class for the animation effect zoom in roll in bounce in fade in zoom in up are the different ones that are were available in the animate.css file guys if you go to animate.css you can actually check the different effects if you just uh, scroll through the list and select the animations okay you can't select any and every animation for the project that I've made they have to be entrances and not exits that's one thing you need to remember okay not every animation would be suited for my project and I'll explain that in detail in the second part for example I couldn't have chosen hinge I need to choose something which comes in and not goes out uh, one that uh, makes an entry not an exit right so it's a I, I really love the animate.css library it's a great one okay and this was the result okay along with the uh, CSS3 along with the animations and along with the linear gradients how did I actually create the linear gradients uh, see this white line vertical white line stands at 567 now what is 567 see let me talk a little bit about caloric density of food this was my secondary uh, purpose my uh, primary purpose was to speak about uh, CSS3 about animations in CSS about the animate.css library about linear gradients uh, yep 
so the HTML CSS was the primary reason why you are here with me learning and uh, the secondary reason is that I always like to add a little more value by telling you certain health and nutrition secrets uh, I want to talk about the way you should be eating you should be eating foods which are calorie dilute which are calorie yeah which are calorie dilute so if you notice that most of the uh, vegetables uh, have a caloric density of 65 to 195 you see the green green means safe fresh fruits from 135 to 420 the bar charts uh, actually are in accordance with the upper limit so this is the roof 195 this is the roof 420 this is the roof uh, 650 this is the roof 750 this is the roof 870 the upper limit they have been created in accordance with the upper limit so vegetables are a group which is safest to eat then comes uh, fresh fruits 135 to 420 okay since they have fruit sugar which is fructose uh, they're gonna be a little sweeter and obviously the caloric density will be a little high but it's still quite safe you know so many people think that if they eat chikus or mangoes or bananas uh, they're gonna gain weight but that's not the case in fact banana uh, is a special kind of food that actually helps you burn fat uh, if you understand resistant starch which is available, uh, resistant starch which is in the, there in rice which is there in uh, bananas which is there in potatoes they help you lose weight well well uh, that's another uh, topic another day okay but I'm just letting you know that don't be afraid of foods uh, you know fruits guys uh, you can very well have them then the next category a safe category is you know potatoes pastas whole wheat pasta which is brown rice sweet potatoes corn yeah the corn kernel if you just boiled corn sweet corn is great is a great food uh, hot cereals and the upper limit is 650 the lower limit is 280 I'm just uh, you know this bar has been created according to the upper limit right uh, this this you know the white line out here is uh, after which the caloric density starts to go up higher than you actually need. ideal is 567 this is 567 this white line that's the boundary that's the demarcation okay so legumes like peas beans pinto garbanzo black and lentil beans uh, can go up anywhere between 400 to 750 and you can see seafood lean poultry uh, lean red meat is 400 to 870 that is the reason guys I don't take uh, any meat I don't take any poultry I do not take any dairy as well I'm a vegan a vegan is a person who is vegetarian plus he does not even consume dairy uh, it's very good for health reasons it's very good for reasons uh, to lose weight okay the key to losing weight is by consuming bulky food food that is dilute on calories and this chart actually shows you what kind of food is actually low on calories okay so if you take potatoes it's very dilute on calories but if you take potato chips very high on calories if you take corn say boiled corn it's very low on calories if you take tortilla chips like Doritos and uh, bingo mad angles and what uh, what have you they're very high on calories okay so I'm gonna show you this website which is pritikin.com you know pritikin I think is a doctor and see he has created a chart and if you actually use this chart so he clearly says that if you the more foods in the first two categories which is veggies and fruit you eat the better for you see these are the categories vegetables fresh fruits uh, potatoes so I've actually followed this chart in my example and for at least 90% of your daily diet stick with categories in the bold the first five categories I wouldn't be taking uh, dairy and I wouldn't be taking uh, any meat or poultry I'm a vegan but for, if you really want to stick you should stick to the first five or at least the first four categories okay he goes on to say no more than four ounces a day to keep your arteries in good shape I want to tell you something guys if you just have you know vegetables fresh fruits potatoes sweet potatoes corn um, rice even white rice brown rice it's a it's a myth that rice makes you fat I can tell you if you had nothing but only potatoes and rice you would still lose weight these are bulkier foods these starches are bulky and uh, you know you need to eat a lot um, 
before you can start actually gaining weight and you wouldn't be able to do it because they're very bulky you know a moderate quantity will give you enough calories you know they're so bulky that they once they go in they will affect your stretch receptors of your stomach and you'll they'll make you feel full you will not and you know uh, the, the bulkiness is the, the reason why uh, you can eat ablibidum I think that's the word ablibidum which means uh, as much as you want whenever you want and whatever you want but from the categories vegetable fresh fruits and the categories that I actually talked about right ablibidum yep so you don't need to worry about calorie counting then just just know that you're eating uh, vegetables and fruits and potatoes and sweet potatoes and eat ablibidum isn't that great and still lose weight that's the best part uh, and if you can be a vegan like me or a vegan like Amir Khan Amir Khan has turned a vegan uh, I think in 2014 he understood he realized that how beneficial it is to quit dairy to quit meat and to quit poultry well I I wouldn't force anything on to you but I'm letting you know even if you want to try it as a weight loss strategy even if you, if you are in bad health you can actually um, overcome that by just going vegan all right guys uh, so you can actually throw your calorie counter away if you eat this way and this uh, HTML CSS document was actually created not only to teach you CSS but to add some more value uh, of health and nutrition so I hope that is not uh, distressing to you I just hope that helps you okay just before I wind up I'll take one more minute of yours I'm gonna show you something in the next part guys I'm gonna focus mainly on the HTML CSS do not worry I'll make it up for whatever I have not talked about in the first part okay now let's have a look at certain pictures just coming up give me a sec the first picture will be of corn kernel uh, the PC is a little slow I need to buy one seriously now let me pause the okay it's come up so these are corn kernels you know so they are the fruits of maize it's a grain so the corn kernels have a caloric density of just 64 but if you have tortilla or tortilla chips with salsa sauce you see the tortilla chips which are made by deep frying um, um, tortilla wedges um, they're made of corn and vegetable oil and salt and water so it's actually a processed food and the caloric density goes up to 465 from 64 so that's why you should have a um, whole uh, whole food plant-based diet the, the, the natural with if you eat the more natural the more it's close to the, your food is close to nature the more it's a, a real food not, not a fake food uh, the more you're gonna lose weight the more you're gonna be healthier the more you're gonna be trimmer happier okay potatoes otherwise have uh, 77 calories per 100 grams so if you just have a baked or boiled potatoes without any fat without any cream without any cheese you're gonna lose weight but if you have potato chips which have a caloric density of 536 because they've been deep fried are you gonna gain weight and it's obviously a processed food okay this is chef AJ she is uh, a person who has actually influenced me a lot uh, she has great videos and she has a book uh, which is titled unprocessed so I would want you if you really am are interested then you can actually go to YouTube and check her out check her videos out check her thinking out and you'll realize that the key to losing weight is to have foods which are dilute on calories and five six seven is the number over which you should not consume foods if you want to lose weight you get slimmer she does not even have nuts for this reason most vegans you'll notice are guys who do not use any added fat but she goes one step ahead she does not use any added sugar or any added salt uh, in, in place of sugars she like to sweeten her stuff up with I think dates figs raisins uh, etc right um, 
this is another of her picture where it actually says my IQ is higher than my cholesterol I don't doubt that obviously okay this got nothing to do with the project okay this is uh, I think uh, southern America and this is the chart for 1985 this is for 1995 2005 2014 so in 1985 you can actually see let me just can I shrink it down okay in 1985 you can actually notice that there was hardly any obesity uh, the green blue areas and the white areas indicate hardly any obesity less than 10 percent okay but as years went by the obes obesity actually became an issue in 1995 you can see the areas actually growing darker so obesity had jumped up in certain regions over 10 percent 2005 started to look bad and in 2014 we are in 16 I don't so in 2014 you can see a lot of very dark areas where the obesity rate is more than 35 percent okay so yes obesity is a growing epidemic and uh, more than 1.4 billion adults worldwide are overweight or obese and more than half of the UK adults are either overweight or obese at least 2.8 million people die each year as a result of being overweight or obese that's disturbing it's actually a catastrophe it's a epidemic it's a pandemic and this is the book unprocessed uh, that chef AJ has written I really like her videos uh, one of the best videos that I've watched of her is uh, going from a overweight uh, person to a skinny bit something like that okay so here she talks about that the more food the whole you know the more uh, whole food plant-based diet we consume the more we we have food as it exists in nature or minimally processed food or unprocessed food the more you're gonna lose weight the more you have food which is low on the caloric density especially if it's under five six seven go for it see remember you cannot uh, outrun the effects of a bad diet if you think you can eat uh, a lot of fritters and batures and choles and then run one hour on the treadmill and undo it that's not possible you just don't have it see obesity is a symptom create health and obesity will melt as a side effect of creating health and how do you create health by eating unprocessed by eating food dilute on the caloric density uh, I may have gone overboard speaking about obesity and I think the CSS HTML has taken a beating but uh, be absolutely sure I'll make up for it in the next part the next video uh, part 2 the concluding part of this tutorial I hope you uh, see me then but guys you know this is something obesity is something I'm absolutely sure in your family there'll be a, a person or two who is obese and I, I, I thought it'll actually help everybody it's a global problem it's an ongoing problem and it's an increasing problem and we need to understand that processed food supermarkets uh, these are the culprits we are not eating a lot at home we're not cooking a lot and we are not eating too much unprocessed food, which we should and we are actually eating calorie dense foods like burgers and pizzas etc we need to go back to the way our grandfathers and grandmothers actually ate so I hope uh, you'll see me then and my uh, talk about health and nutrition has not deterred you alright bye bye